Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today I'm on Malik Dory in Project 1999, and we are at the Warren's Zone Line. As, as you can see, uh, my body is over here. Um, I've been actually exploring the zone for a little bit, and I was able to get, um, um, I'm sorry, Earth's... <laughs> Ursina, um, that robe, which, uh, here, here's the actual stats. Um, there's actually a lot of items in here that are no drop. Things like this that I've looted just so that I can show off, um, to my friends so that we can do this zone as a raid on Red Server. Um, there's also lore documents that they are dropping, uh, which give you some information on the story of these kobolds. This armor also drops. And for red server, it's very important to have your save verse magic. And it has a really cool look to it as well. There was also this fishing rod for mages that drop off of a mob here. So I want to go ahead and show you guys the whole zone. And last and not, <laughs> and, and not least... There are these potions that drop here also, light healing and invisibility, which again on red server will become very important. So I'm going to show you the king's side and muggle wump first, and then I'll come back to the other side where we will show off the prince as well as the taskmaster. The lore master, well actually the lore master is going to be on this side if he's up. Um, but we'll go ahead and head this way first. This area is really, um, really, <laughs> uh, thick with mobs. So if you come in here at level four, which, um, which she was that, that, um, or you died, she, uh, was able to kill these mobs in this area pretty easily at level four. She's now level five and, um, you can right here. <laughs> right on this rim here is whenever it goes up to around level 10. So you can stay in here until level 25 or higher. Um, at level 32, which is why Orgul is dead, you can actually kill all the names and get experience. Now, this zone is made for grouping. If you kill these mobs, the protector, the shaman, and all of that, they will not drop their primary loot unless you're in the level range. It actually gives you a message saying that your group is trivial, so you weren't going to get the teeth that these guys drop. The teeth can be turned in like null teeth to the um, to an NPC here in Ariden or in Peniel. Uh, that is kind of like the null teeth. There's also a um, a jailer in the zone that you can't get the key from unless you kill um, unless you are within his level range to actually do a shackle quest, like also in Crushbone. So the zone is a the is built for grouping. Not only that, the named b uh, bosses won't drop certain loot unless you are within their range. So you have to be in that yellow to blue range for these things to drop. So the shaman here, um, I'll go ahead and kill him and the king. The king um, is who I'm actually camping because I like the uh, color of the armor that drops here. It is blackish gray. And um, I just like a full set of that. Also, that robe that I showed you, that's probably the only person who's wearing that robe on the server. It's a no-drop robe, so it's one of those things that unless you came here or someone helped you get that robe, you're probably not wearing it. And it's only good probably until level 10 or 20 unless you can find something better. Also, I've been helping her with, um, she's been looting a lot of the things that I kill. So, I was helping her get to that robe, and she said she was able to get around 90 platinum. Which was a lot of money, I think, for just looting the mobs 
that I had to kill to get to where that mob dropped. Now this mob, again, will not drop anything unless you are within level range. It drops a nice cleric item. So definitely worth coming in here with a group. And I think, like I said, on red server, I'm going to try to get the guys over here so we can raid it like an actual raid zone and do strategies like this guy. He is a Shadow Knight, so you'd want to make sure that as soon as we engage him, uh, the tank is healed so he doesn't um, fall too low right off the bat. And as you saw, he didn't only... Um, he didn't only life t or not life tap but he didn't only harm touch but he also life tapped at the same time so he has two instant uh, attacks right off the bat and i'm gonna go ahead and harm touch him if mine's up <laughs> i feel it's uh, it's appropriate to harm touch him since he harm touched me and he will almost always drop a um a piece of armor there we go so there's the cold uh, cold iron. I want to get the full set just so I can say I have it. And just to see the color of the armor. Here we go. It's that color. It's kind of a darkish gray like I said. Maybe a little bit brown. But I like it. So anyway. Once you kill him and the shaman. You can go into here. And um, there is a lore master who spawns in here who drops um, scrolls. And then beyond him, uh, I, I'm not going to try to aggro him, but he'll probably aggro me. Yep. Is um, this mob right here who is a placeholder for the warden who also drops that armor. I'll go ahead and kill this guy. Um, he only drops three scrolls that I know of, and I've gotten all three. I'm just keeping them for now because I like the lore in this game, and you don't really get too much of it unless you do the quests or talk to the right people in um, in different towns, like um, like Kinos and and all of that. So anyway, you have the lore master, uh, the warden who drops other things. But the armor is one thing that he definitely does drop. Okay. A bronze katana. This actually looks like a katana. So if you want to come and get katanas for your character. This is a great place to do it. I can't um, wear it. Um, no. It's not that I can't wear it. It's just that I don't have the um, surface races. Okay. So I do have this one. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. But uh, if you want to go ahead and pause and read that, you definitely can. It's it's just really neat, some of the things that they have in here. So, um, instead of going back... Oh, we do need to go back. I want to show you a few other things. So, the next one that we're going to show you is the Batman. <laughs> it's not the Batman. It's um, it's the Werebat um, Lord, I think his name is, or the... It's the bat. It's the bat guy. It's the it's the kobold that looks like a bat, or the werewolf with a bat head. So werebat, and he's the bat lord. I think is what he is actually called. But um, he drops a helmet, of course, that I won't be able to get um, because of the fact that I'm not within his level range. Cave bat lord, and that helmet, which I think is for uh, melee uh, shadow knights can be turned in and then you have to get a second part to finish that quest and the second part is in here to this way the mighty bear paw he does drop other things of course i can't loot those because it won't drop for me and on this side is the uh hunt master and the hunt master drops this bow, which isn't the best bow, but it is a bow better than something that you get off of vendor. So definitely uh, something to look for. And then you can also get these arrows, the forlorn arrows. There's a set of armor here that's the forlorn armor as well. But uh, again, I won't be able to dilute it. Um, so let's go ahead and continue on. And... 
The next mob, oh, don't get close to him. There's no reason to kill him. I don't want to, it's not that there's anyone here that can kill him. Um, but I just don't want to waste that mob. Uh, all I would get is maybe some silver and copper, which I don't need right now because I'm, um, at 180 over 142. So, <laughs> and that's just because the shaman gave me some buffs. So the zone is thick with mobs. The mobs, by the way, <laughs> to make it even more of a pain, um, they all respawn uh, with a six minute timer. So I'm going to go over here back to where the lore master was. Did, I, did he drop something that I didn't pick up? Oh yeah, the page. Yeah, okay. So we'll go back in here. And again, kill him, keep him killed, and um, he spawns every six minutes unless it's the Warlord. So that's really nice. Then you'll come into here and drop down. And then you'll see these cute little guys. <laughs> um, but we'll go ahead and continue on. There's another little room of those guys. And then when you ever come around the corner... There's a room to your left, and there is this name. I don't need to kill him. Again, he drops a cloak that is for wizards or casters, I think. All the casters. So, definitely something to uh, kill. I really do want to try to kill this on a, mo uh, on a level. On low levels, rather. And we have the ability to do it here with our low levels. Um, so, to get out of here, you just come into this room. And you fall down, and here is the next name mob, which I will kill, because he is the dragon of the zone. He drops what is considered the dragon loot. Um, <laughs> he drops things for almost every class, I believe. The Shadow Knight helm that he drops is amazing. It has reclaim energy, which is an instant click. And it has to be, uh, you have to be an erudite to click it. And you can click it from your inventory. The erudites are so, um, trying to think. They're so underlooked, or that's not the way to say it. But they, um, they, they aren't appreciated as much as they should be. Because a lot of the things that you can get are, are Shadow Knight only. Uh, or, I'm sorry, or Edite only, that really benefit them. There's some a shield that I know of uh, that they can get. Not this shield, but it's another one. This is the potion that gives you healing, so we'll definitely take that. There's this shield, which I have one on me already that has two charges of rune on it. And then it has these saves again. Everything in this zone that drops that's, that has um, stats on it has saves on it and that is very important on the red server which is why i want to definitely get that so there it is the erudite shadow knight and reclaim energy 7 ac it's just a nice little piece of armor and i don't know what it looks like because i can't wear it but it's definitely definitely something that you'd want to go ahead and check out if you have a shadow knight and you are an erudite See if you can get someone to help you. There's always people passing through here going to the hole. So you can always try to ask to see if somebody will help you with that. But um, yeah, definitely if you can get in here, Shadow Knight should be able to solo um, that mob within the, um, within the constraints of um, like level 25 to 30. Well, maybe not 25, maybe 30, because it's going to be even con at 25. But that helmet can take you all the way up to 60 as a reclaim item for whenever you're soloing with a pet. And uh, might as well. I mean, it's um, it's a f quick, easy item to have and um, just something to, to think about. So on the next side, we're going to be going into where the jail is as well as the trainer of rats <laughs> that's the best way to explain it he he literally just trains rats so um again it's very very populated 
You have all these mobs that are... Oh, is that a train? Oh, okay, no, it's not. Just making sure those those guys up top aren't getting um, attacked. But yeah, you can see... Wait a minute, there's something wrong with the pathing. Let's go ahead and see who's here. Oh, it's just myself. But um, yeah, so many mobs here. So you can come into this room. Uh, there is a room down there that has nothing in it. But just think how much you would have to kill just to be able to get to any of these names. Um, oh, so if you are a monk, um, these aren't the best stat items. But these pit fighters will drop um, leg wrappings and hand wrappings. I think the hand wrappings have AC and strength, like one or two strength, as well as the wrappings for the legs. So definitely something to think about getting. You have the trainer in here. Uh, he doesn't drop anything for me, but um, another name for you. And then down here, trying to just think where I'm at. <laughs> come over here instead of going that way and there's another name he's the jailer and he will drop the uh the keys i believe M maybe all these mobs will but i know for a fact he will drop the keys to open the shackles for the people who are in jail so we'll come over to here this is the the rats the trained rats which they don't they don't all aggro but that would be hilarious if they did. It would, <laughs> it's like one big dot that's being cast on you. Now, here's something else that's really cool about this place. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. There is a kata in here that, uh, or a cat that doesn't like me. I'll go ahead and kill that. And this is just something that uh, they drop all of these guys the shackle and i believe it has 5 ac but the reason i like it is because it gives you that chrome silvery white um look well at least on dark elves but uh like i said it's what that's 4 ac so i'm gonna i don't carry those i can't even carry the stuff that i have uh wow i'm getting i'm getting over full but um yeah so there's that we'll go ahead and move on we have two more rooms to look at and uh and then we'll be done these guys so many mobs guys the experience here the um bonus is amazing so there's no reason not to come here I think um, on red, I do have a bard that um, I'm not showing <laughs> just so that I can keep him um, away from just people, I guess. So I think I might bring him here to, um, to farm these mobs just by kiting them. So the food master, he will, well, he's going to attack me. He drops Uryudin, um, or cooked Uryudin, um, or, yeah, Uryudite, I think it is. But, again, I think he won't drop anything for me. This guy drops two things. He drops a casket, or ca um, a box, which is for a quest um, for Shadow Knights. It's for a weapon, I think. And he also drops a hammer. That is a really nice hammer. Uh, well, you know, whenever I say nice, it's really relative to the level and how much money you have or how much gear you have um, on your characters. Uh, that's it? Nope, that's not it. <laughs> oh, why did I even look that? But anyway, the, um, the hammer he drops has stats. It also has saves on it. And um, definitely, definitely worth killing. Now, the last guy, and this is um, definitely not least, is the Prince. The Prince is another Shadow Knight. So, you, of course, you want to make sure that you um, are tactful with him. Try to pull him into a corner, uh, because the more mobs you get on you, 
uh, when trying to kill him. See, you want to kill all this before you attack him. And uh, you're going to need an off tank or a caster pet to take one of these mobs while you're taking him. You want to get the, the shaman who is almost always there uh, down to kill this guy. I'm going to go ahead and kill him. I doubt he'll drop anything for me. But um, might as well. <laughs> But that's it guys, this is the Warrens, that's that's the whole zone, that's all the mobs, and um, I'm, I don't think I missed anything. So, if you have any questions, let me know, and um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll answer them for you. And if you want me to do any other zones, other than Lower Guck or Upper Guck, because I plan on doing at least Upper Guck soon... Lower Guck is a little bit more of a challenge because of the fact that um, I'm not high enough level to just walk in there like I own the place. Bronze Tonfo. And I'm the bronze. The bronze is rich here. And you can get it pretty, pretty low. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Safer Deck. Peace out.